Erev Pesach, which it was the first day of Passover 1943, we were taken to be sent out. Who was we? Who was with my you? My father was still alive, my mother, my three sisters, and I. So Someone we came there. to your What do you mean taken? How did it happen? They surrounded the area. And who and was it? The, who the SS. Uh -huh. And there were the, they called them Einsatzgruppen. Mm -hmm. Einsatzgruppen was the SD, special, uh, special uh, forces. Uh, mainly they took, these, uh, these were the real butchers. They came mainly from Austria, from the Tyrolean Mountains, because we recognized their uniform. It was a dark, khaki uniform, hairy, with a fatigue hat, with a, uh, a, a um, what do you call it, a, um, a, a, dead, a, a dead skull on the front. When we saw them, when we saw them, we saw something is bad, something bad. They surrounded our block and they took out whomever they want to. They took us into, they called it Marachine. It was outside, far in the ghetto, where the trains came in, uh, cattle cars, freight trains came in over there. And uh, it was so bitterly cold. At that time in, in, uh, in Poland, it's still cold, and in the, in, it was in April. And we were taking there, they had a manifest of 5,000 people. They have to take 5,000 people. So they took 5,000 people. We went there to, this Ma they called it Marichin, where the trains came in, and there was a huge um, barracks, huge. People were laying there on the floor with bundles, and they said, we're going to be resettled for work. What did you take with you? Whatever you could carry. We put on clothes upon clothes. We were, we were so deceived that we really thought that we are going to go to work. So if you're going to go to work somewhere to the east, you have to have clothes. It's going to be very cold. So we put on three pair of pants and then jackets and whatever you could put on ourselves not to, to have to carry that heavy and whatever we could carry, a valise and whatever, they said, you take whatever you can, you're going to be resettled and you're going to work there. You're going to be happy ever after. <clears throat> it came in the evening of 19, of this Erev Pesach, and it is, uh, it is in the evening, the first night of Passover, and for some reason, we did not know, they caught, or they took, 5,093 people. With the Germans, if they needed, if they had a manifest of 5,000, they couldn't take 501 or 4,999. They had to have 5,000. They had 93 people too many, for some reason. I didn't know. We, nobody knew. It must have been about around 12 o'clock at night, the middle of the night, in came in, SS officers, and when you were staying before an SS officer or a German soldier, you had to straighten yourself up, take the head off or cap or whatever and stay under tension. Whether you could or you couldn't, you had to do that. Otherwise, uh, they finish you off. So they came and they were barking and yelling and screaming. It was bedlam in this place, you have 5,000 people. They wanted to take out 93 people to have only 5,000. They came near us, we were laying on the floor, on a dirt floor, which my father had already uh, swollen, uh, swollen le uh, the ankles, because if you don't eat, the swelling comes up and then it goes up and up. And it was a lot of people died in the middle of the street, which they were walking with swollen legs from not having nourishment, and um, after that, it came, the swelling came out of the heart, and they died. He couldn't move, so I got up, and I straightened myself out, and I took my head off, 
and they asked me in German, was ihr Name? What's your name? I told them, was ist dein Beruf? What is your profession? I said, a nine machine mechanic, a sewing machine mechanic, and I was staying very stiff. Was ist deine Familie? Where is your family? So I said, I said, my father, my mother, and three sisters and I. Heraus! He yelled on top of his lung, out! And this is the middle of the night, and outside was so bad, there was ice on the ground, and we came out there, there were some people staying already outside. They took out some other people, they, maybe because I said that I'm a sewing machine mechanic and it is a covered at the, the trade, so they took out and we were staying there. And uh, my father was laying on the, on the ice. Uh, they counted us and they took these 93 people, then we found out that they had 93 too many. We had 93 people, they took us to jail, in the ghetto to jail, to a jail. Not far from there, we walked. I, my father couldn't walk. How I did it, I don't know. I took him on my shoulders. And I carried him to the jail, and we were laying there on the concrete. In the, in the morning was the first day Passover. They came and order. The Jewish police from the ghetto came, and they told us to go back where we, they took us out from the apartment where we were living. We came there. And uh, it was a uh, seal already on the door. 